What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? What up? Shawar Ross. Shawar in the Clutch A. Hey, back to us, gentlemen, another visit today. You feel me? Uh, 20 things you didn't know about the NFL. This Quite should interesting. be an uh, interesting one. We are at the beginning of the NFL season, yes, man. Sir. So we're going to see what interesting uh, facts oh, we didn't up. know about the, the National Football League. Man. Yeah, man. It's a lot of different things that it looks like they have going on, especially by this uh image here so we're about to check this out right now make sure i run up and like subscribe and let's get into this bad boy let's do this thing man there's secret technology inside nfl balls no one knew about wow what in the football <clears throat> but there's so many more things you didn't know about the nfl like how this ref blinded a player and ruined his career or why the Whoa. u.s military almost killed these fans and Whoa. first did you know that nfl has a rule for when an entire team <clears throat> dies see in 1970 Marshall University football team was flying oh, home yeah. after a loss to ECU when all of a sudden they're playing clip some trees and oh, crashed, no. leaving no survivors. Damn. So this tragic accident made the NFL wonder, what if this happened to one of their teams? And with that, they cooked up a crazy rule, the disaster draft. Which says wow. that if 15 or more players on a team die, the league would host an emergency draft where the affected team would get to pick replacements from other NFL teams until their roster is filled. And depending Whoa. on how many players die, not only will the league also cancel the affected team's entire season, but yeah. they'll even give them the first round pick in the next NFL draft. Yeah, Damn. the NFL's prepared for anything. And so That's is the crazy. player in number 19. Because I know you didn't know about the NFL kicker. That's, That's missing wild. half of his foot. What? Yeah. This is Tom Dempsey. And even though he was born with no toes on his right foot or fingers on his right hand, Tom Whoa. still played 11 seasons in the NFL. And he even made the Pro Bowl. Season. That is legendary. But number uh, 18 is embarrassing. Because you probably didn't know didn't that know NFL that. players have some of the weirdest names ever. I mean, oh, you yeah, got a sure. dude probably named Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Yep. Another <clears throat> literally named Guy Wimper. But the weirdest one of them all goes to Dick Buttkiss. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Dick Buttkiss. But yep. kids. Man, this dude's gotta you know, have the know. worst parents in the world. <laughs> but number 17 has gotta be the worst fan in the world. Cause you probably didn't know that a fan Whoa. once destroyed an NFL field. See, in 2022, a man hopped the gates of the Cleveland Browns stadium, stole a pickup <laughs> truck, what? and started doing donuts on the NFL field. Wow. Are you serious, that bro? That is childish. Really put a yeah. Yeah, and in the next game, you could literally see the tire marks all over oh, the field. But wow. the guy didn't get away with it. Because a few weeks later, police identified the man as 21-year-old Anthony O'Neill and charged him with vandalism and breaking booked. and entering. Yeah, Stupid. that man was trucking crazy. But he's not the only one. Because for number 16, <clears throat> you might not have known that the NFL has the craziest fans oh, in we all know. of sports. We definitely know. Seriously. We definitely you got do people know. bathing in public before games. People yep. turning their houses into shrines yeah. for their Ew. team. I mean, hell, one guy even spent yep. an entire week what? making a Peyton Manning cornfield. But Whoa. the wildest fans of them all are nah, Bills wild. fans. Because the Bills Mafia isn't Whoa. just crazy. They're flat out dangerous. Cause after the Bills won the AFC East Championship, fans stormed the field Whoa. and then ripped the goalpost out of the ground. <clears throat> Jesus, Whoa. those fans were committing crimes. But yeah. number 15 We're is suspect. Cause I bet you didn't know that the Dallas Cowboys website had men falling in love with each other. See, in 2007, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones realized that Cowboys.com was recently put up for auction. Cowboys. He threw down 275 bucks, thinking that would seal the deal. But unfortunately, he ended up losing the auction. And uh, the person that won it had a different vision. Because they oh. turned Cowboys.com into a dating site for gay <laughs> cowboys. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> some stories aren't a laughing match. Starting to add up. The 14th thing you didn't know about the NFL is That's that funny. penalty flags used to be deadly. See, in 1999, offensive tackle Orlando Brown was just doing his job, blocking other 350 pound men from getting to his quarterback. When all of a sudden, a referee threw a penalty flag that flew directly into Orlando's eye, causing him oh. to go partially blind and Whoa. completely derailing his career, having to sit Damn. out the next three years. But Brown had that dog in him, because after the incident, not only did he manage to fix part of his vision and revive his career, but he also sued the NFL and mm -hmm. won, walking yep. away with over yeah, 15 bro. million. Damn. Watch that right flag. There's an eye for an eye. 
But number 13 will cost you an arm and a leg. Because I bet you didn't know that Super Bowl commercials are so expensive oh, yeah. that even oh, yeah. billionaires can afford them. See, every year, the Super Sounds Bowl is right. watched around the world by over mm -hmm. 100 million live viewers. Mm -hmm. And with an audience that big, it means companies who want to advertise during the game got to reach deep halftime. in their pockets. I'm talking over $7 million <laughs> for a 30-second commercial. Yep. That is just absurd. In fact, even billionaires agree. In 2023, after filming an entire Super Bowl commercial, YouTuber Mr. Beast decided $7 million just wasn't worth it. So he said screw it and released it for free. Damn, Mr. Beast stays winning. But Damn, NFL that's... players stay thirsty. Because for number 12, there's no way you knew that NFL players are down bad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you got so Brett Favre Kelsey. getting caught texting a Jets reporter about his footballs. Or Zach Wilson allegedly hooking up with his mom's best friend. But no one's down hey, first. Yo! Former NFL wide receiver Chris <laughs> Chambers. Because in 2009, after months of being stalked by a crazy fan, yo. Chris did the unthinkable divorcing his wife to marry the stalker. Now, for number 11, you probably oh, yeah. didn't know about the NFL <laughs> play that's missing she a She wasn't hand. that much of a stalker. Misha Keen Griffin, who oh, has yeah, a baby, was born with amniotic <clears throat> band syndrome, a condition that caused his left hand to become deformed and made his fingers nothing but tissue. And growing up, every day was painful. I mean, at just four years old, Shaquem's hand hurt so bad that he tried to cut it off with a kitchen knife Whoa. to stop the pain. But thankfully, his parents stopped him just in time, and he had his hand surgically amputated the very next day. And life's been tough ever since. But Shaquem went on to achieve something that no one thought was possible. Because with the support of his twin brother Shaquille, Shaquem made it all the way to the NFL. But look, it's top 10 time. So from here on out, you won't know nothing about the NFL. And first, I bet you didn't That's know awesome. that the NFL no, has is. a tradition of humiliating the last pick in the draft. See, each year in the draft, being the last pick earns you one of the most embarrassing nicknames imaginable, Mr. Irrelevant. Wow. Yeah, these guys train their entire lives and wait days to get drafted just to go up on stage and be publicly wow, I didn't know humiliated. That. I didn't either, because I never sit that long. Tradition going with the Wow! Don't do that with me, bro. NFL draft, the San Francisco 49ers select I didn't know that. Purdy, a quarterback from what? Oh, oh, I did not know that. I didn't know he was the Mr. last Irrelevant. pick. My name stinks. But really? And now he's starting. Because I don't think you knew that Who's the NFL now? uses thousands I did not know that, man. That's crazy. to make their footballs. See, they call oh, it pigskin, damn. but since the NFL was founded, <laughs> the league's been making their <laughs> be real now. out of genuine cow hide. Milking oh, over 3,000 cows every oh, okay. season. And since 1920, they've used damn. over 300,000 cows for footballs. That oh. is utterly ridiculous. As I didn't know that, eight, bro. Because Antonio <laughs> Cromartie set an NFL record hey, for the most kids in NFL that. history. So, so if you vegan, you can't watch football, bro. You can't. Playing with the, uh... He can't watch football. I want to know who's vegan out there. When we talking about the extreme, like the don't people. wear the clothes. Yeah, you can't, you can't watch anything. You can't watch football. You can't be a fan of a football team, or you can't play catch. Nope. With a football. You can't. Can't play fantasy either. Nope, because you're supporting them. That's crazy. Nah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, that's bro. That's wild, bro. I did not know that. Ah, oh, damn, they killing all them cows just for you. I don't know if they killing them. Come on, During bro. his 10 seasons Come in the on, league, about to be Antonio a stayed busy on the field. But oh, he was he got way busy off of it. Because during his time in the NFL, he managed to have 14 kids Ooh. with eight different women. And oh. raising 14 kids is hard, but it's not the hardest yeah. part of the game for Antonio. Because he's paying $330,000 in child support every year. Oh my God, his baby mamas are rich. And so is the NFL. Because for number seven, you might I not have known that the NFL month. is the richest sports league in the mm -hmm. entire world. 
Yep, See, sound about every right. year, the NFL plays the fewest number of games across each major sport. So mm -hmm. you think with less action, there'd be fewer dollars coming in. But nope. no, their pockets stay thick. Because according to Forbes, Damn. 2022, the NFL generated more money than ever before. Over mm -hmm. $18 billion dollars in revenue. Bro. That's more than the NBA and the Damn. NHL combined. Damn. And that's all because the NFL cares about every single dollar. Like mm -hmm. in number six, the fact that the NFL would rather have players die than cancel a game. I swear, you got guys mm -hmm. out here playing right. in 108 degree heat, damn near burning to death, or dudes playing in monsoons like a giant slip and slide. And in the dead they of winter, the right is just with another DeMar. day of work, Finally, especially for yeah. the Packers, because they once played a game in Green Bay with 17 inches of snow on the ground. Damn! Yeah, you know, the league stops for no one, not even Mother Nature. But hey, uh, they've always been a little wild. Cause for number five, yeah, you didn't bank. know that the NFL mm -hmm. goes a little bit too crazy with their pregame shows. Playing the Denver Broncos, for example, what? they kick off every home game by having their skydiving team wow. drop down onto the field. Or how about the Seattle That's Seahawks, crazy. who are trying to gouge their fans' eyes out with an actual Seahawk that they release into the stadium. But Whoa. then there's the Tennessee Good. Titans, who have without a doubt one of the most dangerous oh, pregame wow. shows I've ever seen. Cause they That's like to crazy. cap off the national anthem by having military helicopters fly right over the field. Watch as we slow down this video and the helicopters pass right beneath what appears to be a cable of some sort oh. stretched across the stadium. They went under that cable. Well, if you hit the cable, especially the helicopter, uh, more than likely to crash. Man, yeah, that chopper almost sent people to heaven. Bro. But at number four, some people Ooh, are trying to fly play, just bro. as high. Because yeah. you might not have realized that in the NFL, dunking a football is strictly illegal. Mm -hmm. And it's all yep. because of this guy right here. Six foot seven <laughs> tight end, Jimmy Graham. Damn. Senior yeah. in college. And Jimmy played a little <clears throat> bit of football and basketball. But ultimately, decided Me. to go to the NFL, where his basketball <laughs> talent came back to bite him. Because during his first yep. few seasons, Jimmy he started celebrating it. every touchdown catch by dunking on the goalposts mm -hmm. until one day he dunked a little too hard. Yep. Yeah, Jimmy dunked so hard he destroyed the goalpost. So just a few months later, mm -hmm. you know, made that. a brand new rule. That I remember they used to do that too. Oh, yeah, no, for we sure. We did the top three, which means we're about to see a whole new side of the yeah, NFL. Mm -hmm. Imagine first, having to kick after that. We gotta talk about one of the league's weirdest mysteries: the Madden curse. Madden oh, curse. Oh, yeah. Madden curse. Yep. Yeah, it all started I remember in that. 1998. When the Madden franchise featured their very first cover athlete, Worst in peace, John Harrison Madden, Hurst, yep. <clears throat> who had just come off the greatest season of his career. But oddly enough, just a few months after becoming the face Damn, of Madden, Harrison made nine. it all the way to the NFC Championship, where, on the very <laughs> first play of the game, he suffered a freak accident and completely shattered his ankle, Ooh. missing the next <laughs> two years of his career and marking Jeez. the beginning of the Damn, Madden bro. curse. And it's been downhill ever since. Yep. Because of the 22 different players who've been on the cover of Madden, yep. 16 of them suffered devastating injuries immediately after. Jeez, thanks bro. to the curse. Man. I'll be like, don't put me video on the games cover. are spooky. But number two is just crazy. Because it's actually illegal to say Super Bowl. FBI, open up! No, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. Back in 1969, the NFL officially trademarked the phrase we the Super Bowl, moon. which means any commercial use of the term by anyone outside of the NFL is strictly illegal. That's Whoa. why commercials always refer to the Super Bowl as the big game. And it might yep. sound ridiculous, because it is, <laughs> but the NFL is not playing around. Because in 2008, a church in Indianapolis decided to host a Super Bowl party where you could oh. buy a ticket and there'd be food for anyone that came. Well, the NFL got wind of their party and immediately Damn. shut it down by a sending out a Bowl. cease and desist letter to the church. So it was illegal to, a to church? tell people to attend and they couldn't call it a Super Bowl party. Man, no one's safe from the NFL. But a church? number one, wow. what if I told you the they NFL has a much bigger problem <clears throat> that might end the league for good? But before we get to that, we need to talk about the fact that NFL balls have computer chips inside them. Nah, See, this in is 2016, wild. the NFL wanted to upgrade their game. They saw sports leagues around the world implementing technology to make their games better, like tennis and basketball uh, with their yeah. replay systems. Mm -hmm. So the NFL implemented a computer chip with the purpose of tracking movement 
but unfortunately, oh. the tech just didn't really work. It was buggy, the tracking wasn't accurate, and no one really trusted it over the referees. So everyone kind of just forgot about it until 2023. It was hmm. Ravens versus Bengals, game all tied up in the fourth quarter, and the Ravens were at the one yard line with a chance to secure the lead when this quarterback tried to sneak a touchdown. Now, he ended up not even getting close. I mean, uh, that was pretty obvious. But for Ooh. whatever reason, the NFL decided to clarify that in the craziest way possible, tweeting out, according to the chip <laughs> in the football, closest the ball got to the end zone was 0 0.6 yards wow. from the goal line. This was the first time that a functioning computer chip was confirmed to be in the ball, and Damn. people lost their minds. Yeah. Such a chip in the football? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Why did we you not know that tweet? before? Why did we yeah. not know that before? Bro, it's a chip <laughs> in the ball. Honestly, though, I think it's a good thing that. that's going to help the game out. But I don't think it's enough to save the NFL from going extinct. See, over the last few years, the league has had a problem with players retiring earlier than ever. While mm. players are suffering from ACL tears to shoulder injuries, true, bro. there's yep. one in particular that's doing more damage than any injuries to the brain yeah, yeah. players are taking hits Ooh, to the head yeah. like we've never seen creating what's known as cte a disease caused by repeated blows to the head that yeah. literally shrinks your brain and when that happens players could suffer from memory loss paranoia mm -hmm. and erratic behavior that's why yeah. we're seeing players like andre waters <clears throat> antonio brown and yeah. aaron hernandez completely spiral out of control on and off the field and other players like andrew luck retiring at just 29 yeah. for the sake of his mental Dang. health. I mean, uh, just last People year, got mad at wide receiver that. Demarius Thomas yeah. was suffering yeah, from grade bro. two CTE Ugh. and actually died from it at only 33. And Ooh. while those were just a few examples, a 2023 study tested 376 retired players and 345 of them came back with some form of CTE. Damn. That is 92%. Shit, yeah. So with so many young men having their lives ruined, the NFL has to find a solution or else football could see less and less players in the field until eventually it goes extinct. But the NFL is not alone because it turns out engineers have been developing an AI robot that could replace NBA players. Yeah, mm. this thing is insane. It's set yeah, one record for never missing a shot. Can dribble, hit half court bombs. He's got the whole package. So if you want to hear more, you need to click on this video right here. Yeah, I think here. I did see that six one. Foot ten, yeah, I remember saying that too, bro. That's that's wild, bro. Like, yeah, man, and, uh, playing football can be very dangerous, bro. Oh yeah, we you saw know, it with uh, Nick Chubb, man. Yeah, just the other day, man. Ooh, yeah, I man. wouldn't even try to see the video. I happened to <clears throat> hopped on Twitter accidentally and see boom. Yeah, oh it. my god, that was brutal. Like, bro, I'm really not even supposed to go. Oh, uh, I'm wishing him a speedy recovery, but yeah, sure. I don't, I don't know, man. That one, that that injury was pretty pretty bad, man. And this is why. It's, it's, it's one of those type of things. I give much respect to boys who make it to the league because, man, that is a fast, high-impact game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's why uh, these end of, these players deserve to get paid, bro. Facts, bro. Because they can't do this for the rest of their life. So they only got a few years of their prime that they can, you know, willingly do this on a consistent basis. So they deserve to get paid so they can be set up for you know the rest of their life them and their family so yeah and these players are getting bigger and faster so facts bro I mean, it's just making it harder and more you know easily uh capable for injuries and stuff like facts. that to happen so but yeah if y'all enjoyed the video 20 things that you didn't possibly know Ooh. some stuff we knew a lot of stuff we didn't but facts. uh yeah, vegans. I wonder what you got to say about that one, man. I'm interested to see. You know, so let us know what y'all think in the comments. Continue to spread love. Be love. Catch y'all in the next video. Catch y'all in the next. Peace. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.